everything is broken. Hello everyone! Hi! <laughs> I still was not able to make the um, overlay of the chat work. Um, but hello everyone! You are so many! Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to the VTuber review stream! I got so many entries. I am gonna review as many as I can today. If I don't finish all of them, next ones are gonna be done next week, so don't worry. Hello everyone! Woo! <laughs> Stop! What's going on? Okay, I will say hello to everyone. This is my habit to say hi to everyone in chat. So, hello Rani, hello Zaz, hello Shizzy, hello Cartoon Monster, hello Sephir, hello Hel Elite, Chibi, Luke, Sarkana, Anon, JLo, Clown Peas, uh, Love. Oh, Stream Elements? <laughs> is it working? I was not able to make uh, uh, Stream Elements work. Let me see. It still doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Stream Elements! Alright, hello Haira, hello Kitsune, uh, la, 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 la. hello Gyu, hello Bolti, hello Lalka, hello Papilov, hello Costello Antonio, hello Bri, Sephir, uh, uh, Jello, I think I got everyone. Hi! <laughs> I love your aesthetic so much. Thank you. It's all about sparkles and sparkles and sparkles. Um, I always struggle to learn something new, but Yoshino is an amazing teacher. Rigging went from impossible to manageable. Ah, let's go! More waifus. So you can create more waifus now. Uh, honestly, she made most of it manageable, but I gotta start over because I did angle X before I did the mount. You don't have to start over! You can do it also after it! And don't start over! Boop boop! Boop boop! Uh, because of the power of Yashin Art, I began rigging. It's fun, I still have to learn a lot to learn. Angle wise scares the heck out of me. Gambare, you can do it! The power, you know what was powerful today? My washing machine. I was able, barely able to start the stream in time because <laughs> I cleaned it and I closed the, um, the filter lid wrong. So it, um, let's say that my bathroom became a pool. Uh, so I had to clean everything. <sighs> okay, hello Vanelina. Uh, luckily I was able to. Hello, bru, 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 bru. Okay, what about we start? Hello Amiral. Try not to start over. Start over? What do you mean? Ah, the model? Yeah, I don't know. You don't need to start over. You can rig the mouth later. It's okay. Just uh, do all of the rigging inside of the mouth uh, head XY, the format that you already have. By the way, to all of you, um, remember that if you want, you can turn on the notifications to my channel to get notified every time that I start a stream. I will start with the first model that I got sent. So you guys had the option to choose if to get a review on your uh, character design, illustrations, so shading and all of that stuff, layer cutting or rigging. The first one that I got is about rigging. Let me open it real quick. So it's from Vale Eden. Eden, Eden, Eden. I don't know how you say that, but anyways, let me get it really quick. Cleaning is hard. Man, one time that I decided to clean and all of that mess it turned out. Oh my god. <laughs> I better not clean anymore. You know what? <laughs> um, okay, let's switch screens. Very professional. Okay, we said the first one is in life to this. So. I think I got it. There we go. 
okay, I already see something that I like. <laughs> so, I got a little uh, message also. Uh, let's read the, their message. I ate quickly to get there on time today. Oh, no, don't eat, don't eat fast. I'm happy, but don't eat fast. It's gonna make you your belly hurt. <laughs> Cleaning literally gives me asthma attacks. I'm so lucky that I don't have. My my family has, but I don't, luckily, so I am happy. Happy. Okay, she, they, Vale, Vale said, Hi YouTube, this model is still with, uh, working progress. It's not finished. I'm rigging it all by myself, following tutorials, and it's the first time I ever do this. Wow, good job. I'm pretty proud of it, but I'd love to get some suggestions. Okay, let's see. Leftory finally has a darker theme. You know that um, if you have a screen that is like bigger than um, 1080 by 1920, you might get lag. I still have not gotten the dark version. I will see and check how it works. First, good point that you got your um, folders in beautiful um, rainbow color. <laughs> good job. Okay, let me see. I'll go in the physics right away. I will go in the physics right away. So. Um, they wrote about um, rigging, so I am assuming that they want uh, an opinion on the rigging. Uh, wait, I'm getting the physics. Okay. Uh, I'll try to do it like this. I know it's very small, should be able to see everyone, everything, okay. Okay, still a work in progress. We do like the design, uh, you agree? Yeah, okay. First time rigging is always a big leap, uh, good for them at trying. Okay. Alright, as a first rig, I can see that you are doing well, okay? There's a lot going on. Uh, my first rig didn't have any physics, uh, so you're already doing a good job. Let me see. Uh, they said that it's a work in progress, so I'm not gonna comment on this. I'm assuming that you are gonna fix that. Um, maybe with some hip movement. I love the detail, the shoulder detail in doing open shoulder with that top, even if only on one side. Yeah, it's a very cute design. They did a good job. I never clean or cook. The last I cook, I burned the kitchen and a little of my hair. <laughs> Be careful! Oh, I love cooking. I love cooking. I, I do not understand you. <laughs> okay. Um, mm, let me think. You did a good job on the physics. Now, uh, the angles could be done better, given that this is your first time, but I'm here to help you improve, alright? So I'm gonna give you like a little couple of tips. I can see that the angles are a little bit, um, how do I say, like wonky. Um, so if you look, for example, at this eye, it looks like it goes more up compared to the hair and all of the elements themselves it looks like each one of them is rotating a little bit different differently um, so this is a little bit hard I know it's your first model but you can think of this to improve um, look at the line that your eyes are making and you should keep that for all of your elements. So I will start already by making the banks follow that line a little bit more. Right? If I use a temporary deformer tool just like this. As an example, we are already getting a different result. Also, I do see that you have... A, okay. I do say, see that you have the shadow in a de different uh, deformer. Usually, I put the shadow and the bangs in the same one. It makes it easier. Okay, so if you did this for all of them, 
I know it's harder as a beginner to under like to tell how the rotation is going, but we are kind of imagining um, the angle like this. Look how this is. Imagine like a flat piece of paper, and we are trying to make all of the elements match that. So also this bun, we need it to be higher. This one I can bring it a little bit lower. If you did this with all of the head, it's probably gonna become um, more generally um, nice. Hello Fifi, thank you so much. The, the little hair buns look like clouds. Mm -hmm. They do. Also, I think that the top part of the head, when rotating it, you can kind of keep it more behind. It might make it look nicer. Of course, it can be it can be a little bit hard, but. It comes with some practice, so let's open the mouth and see. Okay. Okay, also the chin, we will need to make it. I feel like you are uh, missing a little bit of the angling. At least this is how I do it. I make it so that all of the elements here in the bottom uh, left they are going more in a diagonal. So if you made it everything in a more in a diagonal, it should already start looking nicer. This one too. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but just so, so you can see what I mean. <laughs> Forgive my hiccups, please. Okay, look already at the difference. This is the side that I started a little bit to change. And this is how it was before. It will take more time to fix all of it, but um, you, already did a, you already did a good start. My tip yeah, will be to try to make your hair, your, your whole face elements follow all of the same diagonal. And you should already see a huge improvement. Now let me see. Okay. I think that's my biggest tip because everything else... That's emulating the shifting of the hair as if there is a center point takes practice to nail with this type of rigging animation. Perspective and angles are something artists never perfect but it's all for the fun. Yes, yes, of course. I am giving tips because these models were sent to me specifically to review them, okay? You can find your own technique and everything. What I say might not be universally right, but... This is literally the point of the stream. Everything else, you made it very nice. Let me see. Everything else seems very nice. You did a good job. You are doing a good job because this is a work in progress. Yeah, I would say that uh, you um, all you could do to improve this a lot is simply trying to make this more angled like that. I think this is my my tip for this one because that's honestly all the physics are very good you're doing a good job with that one 
The banks of physic in C in particular, look how nice they look. Very good job, very good job. But yeah, know that as a first attempt, you said pretty proud of it, you must be because this is very good looking. Good job. Okay, I am gonna go to the next one. Let me see. Thank you for your submission, by the way. Uh, I really appreciate it. Hello, Yumisu. Next one is also a rigging. And uh, let me open it first. Don't worry, if this type of streams is really like it, I will do more more rounds, so don't worry. Okay, next one is from Safaya Rukina, and it's a moth, moth model. Wow! Okay! They, okay, the character design on this one is... Oh, I see some I see some problems down here. The character design is nice, but I am seeing some uh, I am seeing that Life 3 is signaling some problems down here. We're going to check it out. What is your opinion on Life 3 5.0? I love it. It has amazing features. It has improved automatic meshes, the so awaited dark mode, but it lags if you have a bigger stream screen. I hope they're gonna fix it. Were you supposed to give details about the model? No, not really. I asked uh, to write a little something if you wanted to tell me, but it was not really needed. Okay. Um, this little snakey said, Hello YouTube, I didn't make it my design, so please don't say anything about it since the designer didn't ask for criticism. Okay, I don't have criticism because it looks nice <laughs> anyways. Um, anything else, even art, cutting, and mostly rigging is good with me. Anything that I can improve on for rigging would be awesome. Started with your tutorials, then can't thank you enough. Thank you so much, Safaya. So, let me see. Hi Yoshi, it's Pinji. I'm starting to draw 3D models and having your tutorial is such a blessing. Oh, I really love your art so much, Pinji. Pinji, or like on Twitter, you're also Pinji. I really love your art. Good job, good job. Um, yeah, very unique model, very nice. Okay, they said a review on cutting and rigging. Okay, let me see already in the physics. We really love the physics. Look how much she moves. Oh, damn. This moves a lot. I like how big of a range we got. There's also a little bit of a foot movement. We are looking like... Very nice. Okay, let me see more in detail. The parameter. Oh, wow! Oh my god! You have the patience of a god. Let me see why you have so many keyforms over here because I'm curious what's going on. Usually I don't put so many keyforms because I cannot help <laughs> working so many keyforms. But let me see, let me see why it is that you have so many. I'm assuming it's for the antennas. It's not. Oh wow, let me see. What is it? What is it that we got so many? Really smooth, we love it, but are so many keyforms needed? I need to understand what it is for because I cannot find the element that has so many keyforms. Mask, head, neck, neck, head, no. Eyebrows, no. What is it that took so many? So many keyforms. Wait a moment, what if I remove them? <laughs> so I can understand what it is that took so many keyforms. Ah, okay, I'm seeing already some differences. Ah, the back hair? The back hair is here? Ah. Okay. Unless it's like specifically needed, usually I don't like putting so many keyforms because it makes it makes it super hard to manage everything. But I will see how we look at before removing them because that's how you made it. 
Ah, oh, okay, you are in chat. Okay, let me see. It has so many key forms because of the hair, if I remember correctly, and the fluffy parts. Fluffy, before the antennas. Okay, okay, I was trying to understand. The fluffy parts. So, like, this part I saw that it moved. Left it needs value curves. Uh, technically, there is already the um, in interpolation, but it's kind of heavy. Okay, let's watch the angle. Okay. I think it looks like the nose is going up. Like, if you look, if we rotate, you can try, like, let's uh, take the nose. Select the tip and do show guide, add a guide at the coordinate of the vertex. If we rotate our head to the side, we will see that the nose goes up. It will make sense if the whole face rotated more, but I think it goes more up than the rest of the face elements, so I wouldn't make it go so up like that. Ah, what is going on? Okay, I see. All right, oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, this becomes a little bit harder to manage. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Hi, Yoshi, you're teaching me a lot. I hope I can get my model reviewed by you. It's my first time watching one of your streams. So I sent a model. Thank you. I'm going to review as many as I can uh, today. But if I don't manage to check all of them, I am going to just do it uh, next uh, next stream. Oh, look, the alert was so late. Hi, Yoshino. You teach me a lot. I hope I can get my model reviewed by you. It's my first time watching one of your streams, hee hee. I sent a model. Thank you! Okay. So I will have this a little bit lower. It can go up a little bit, but... Mm, makes sense more like that. Okay, let me check more. I feel like the ears uh, tilt way less than the eyes, so let's see. Yeah, I feel like the ears uh, tilt way less than the eyes, so we could have done a little bit more like this. Let me see, everything else looks very good. You might have been able to tilt this more. What are we using to rotate it? This one, okay. Oh! Okay. Uh, your videos were a lifesaver. They helped me a lot in your streams and the way you explain is super nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I do see that you have a lot of deformers. Okay. This is for physics, this is for angle. You work at a lot of the elements very individually. Um, I think, in my opinion, that this makes it harder. Uh, I did also start working uh, on them fully. It's okay then. Uh, you just did a bunch of adjustment on this. Uh, good job then on that. I usually don't do that. 
All right, let me see for the body what we have. In general, in general, you did a good job. I would refine it a little bit more, but honestly, it's really good. The body is really good. Why are moth girls always so cute? <laughs> Very cute. Actually, this is not cha chaotic. This is not really chaotic. Uh, because at least you have all of the names for everything. I just feel like this probably took you like a long time. <laughs> good job, good job. Let me check the physics again. Ah, very nice. The body, I really like how you've done it. The cutting is also well done over here. I like to have the torso like that. So we can have this rotation even farther if you want. I did the hips and the body in the same. Okay, usually I do hips and body separate so I have more control. Body said, body said on this one. Honestly, I don't know what to say. You did a very good job. 30 hours only for the rigging. Um, hello, Xalia, how are you? What resolutions you gotta use? Katuka? Uh, um, nothing is smaller than this. Do this or more. Okay, I do see though that down here we have some errors. Whenever Life 3D is telling you something down here, you need to click on it and understand what it says. So, top arm base L are masks, but they are hidden. Okay, wait, I should share the whole screen so you can see better what I'm seeing though. No worries. Ooh, okay, there are some problems in the status of the output mask. We have a list of things that have a null object in their masks. Okay, this is very simple to solve actually. Um, if we click on here, it's gonna tell us all of the elements that have a null mask. Okay, so it, it is um, here, it's highlighting them. Okay, so if you click on any of these, up here, oh my god, this is so hard to do, up here, you will see, I wish I had like a fast way to zoom on stuff, I need to find, up here we have I whites R and then null. Um, we just simply remove this and it's gonna fix the error. In case you have a giant list of a bunch of... Uh, a bunch of um, of masks like this and you're like oh my god where is the null I have no idea you can very simply write something random delete it enter and it's gonna automatically uh, remove the, the null one so yeah basically what I'm gonna do let me switch the screen so it's more like this this and this so it's a smaller you see better okay i'm simply gonna fix all of these uh, uh bugs thingy that we got so, so this and this have a no so let's uh, delete it this one also has a no let's uh, delete it yeah it's very simple it's very simple to fix that, but I, at the start I had no clue how to do it. And then when you realize how simple it is, you're like, whoa, okay, I guess. Okay, let me remove that since I'm in front of it anyways. Okay, you just keep on clicking on it. It turns on whatever elements that have problems. 
you remove the null from the clips and you just have to do that okay i'm not gonna do it because it doesn't make sense that i fix all of them okay let me check the other stuff um So we said that the body is very nice. Um, let's see the eyes. I have to remember this in case. Honestly, whenever you have a problem, uh, you can simply come here, click on it, and it's gonna tell you what's wrong. Always check those little uh, red uh, labels. I have to remember, oh, no, I already got this. Happens when you copy parameters art mesh to reflect them. Um, it happens when you have an object uh, clip it onto something and then you delete the something. So like if I if I deleted the sclera for example, look now I have seven art meshes. If I delete our one now it's nine because I had this stuff clip it onto it. Yeah, so the deleted uh, art mesh masks uh, create a uh, like a little bug, but it's super easy to fix. Dice looks very look very nice as well. Oh, I like the X Y to make it more wide, so make them go more far. More far and more far. Oh, you don't have them clipped uh, on the on the sclera. Usually, I clip uh, I clip the iris on the sclera. Let's see. It always works for me. Who's did you review already? I reviewed only, well, this is just the second, I reviewed um, Veil Eden. Was it you? To be honest, I really learned all of the stuff I know from your tutorials mainly. You don't even know I'm happy I can get criticism. <laughs> oh, thank you. Alright, uh, that said, I think everything else is nice. Eyebrows, we got a lot. Oh, this is the X. Usually you rig this on the brow Y, not the brow X. It's just simple naming, but... The brows looks nice. Let me see the mouth. Okay. Simple, but effective. We like it. Tongue physics. That's because we have a tongue out. Toggles, tongue out. We do, we do, okay. Ah, usually it makes yeah, everything easier if you also make the tongue out follow the mouth X, so you don't get the cutting. Okay, all of the physics, honestly, to me, it seems like you did a very good job, but just a couple of things that I told you. Tear loop. Wings appear. Oh, we have wings! Wow! Watching you while calling tech support. <laughs> Man, all of the times that I had to call tech support, good, good thing that you got something to watch. I know it takes time. Pumpkin soup is cooking. Oh, I love pumpkin so much. Uh, let me see how you made the wings. Uh, that's the only thing I'm checking before going in next, but I want to see the wings. Okay, we got a flutter, so I am thinking that uh, you put this in a... Oh, it's a physic. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Good job. Okay, just those couple things, but so far you did an amazing job. She has um, a huge range. Good job. Okay, let me go to the next one. Otherwise, I will never be able to do all of them. <laughs> Lilimon is next. Okay, let me see. 
You don't get the fixed version that I made, of course. <laughs> you thought it was gonna be this easy? <laughs> you have to watch and then fix it yourself. Hello, bunkers! Oh my god, <clears throat> why is it all red? <laughs> I like it! Nice design, simple, but I love it. Why is it red? Ah, okay. Wait, you are using this to change colors? Did you know that you can do it like... Ah, because you didn't put it in the texture. Let me turn, on the te turn off the texture. Okay, oh, we can just remove this one. I remove it. Um... Disaster model. Okay, let's see what Lilimon said. Hello, it's my first serious model that I do from zero and I would uh, be curious if there are any serious mistakes. Like I know that the mouth is not the best and that the clothes maybe glitch, glitch, glitch a little bit. I'm sure I did 90% of the things wrong. <laughs> no, don't say like that. Don't pay attention on the layer's name. <laughs> Thanks for this beautiful opportunity. Okay, let's see how the names... Of the layers are ah, it's all in Italian. Okay. Scarpa, why is is uh, you? You made them right. It's all in Italian, but you you ventre <laughs> culo. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> all right, let me see how it looks like in general. Oh, she's flying? Is this meant to be that she's flying? Like floating? I see that we could... Uh, no, I am seriously asking if it's like a feature that you wanted her to float or if you want me <laughs> to see why it's happening and maybe help you to not... that not happening. I feel like we could add some movement in the Z. Did you add it uh, and then add it in the in the VTube Studio? Okay, we don't have body Z and angle Z. Body Z and angle Z are like super easy to add. You want to see how fast you can? Ah oh, no, wait, we have it. We have it, but we don't have it. We have a deformer, but it's not made in the parameter. Whoa, what's going on? Brett thinks made wrong. Ah, okay, you didn't make it yet. Brett, Brett thinks not made... Okay, I see. Okay, that's because you put all of your stuff in the bread. And okay, she's going like that. Okay, to fix this is very simple. Just to turn it off here, and we need more divisions so that we have one of these crosses kind of in her uh, chest like that. So here, the division I put it from two to four. Make it active again, and on the right, you just lift this part and make it out a little bit. That's already probably too much. Like that, it should already be fixed. Yeah, she doesn't float anymore. Okay, that's like super easy. Um, yeah, the Z is super easy. I will, I would add it. Like it's literally this that you didn't add it. It's so easy that it's a pity not to add it. And um, if I hold the control, I can do this since I'm showing the full screen. If you hold the control and enlarge the deformer a little bit and we make it active in the head angle Z, hold X, shift, drag down, tilt. Oh, we have the neck in there. I'm gonna need to take it off. Reflect motion. Okay, we have to drag out the this and this 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 uh, 
Okay, but like it was super fast to make. Uh, it, it feels a little bit like a pity not to not to add it. The neck is wrongly on the head. No, don't worry, I removed it. You can see very simply, you, you just so like, I just dragged it out super easy. I just need to remove also this part from the deformer that it's moving a lot with the head and we don't want that. Okay, look how fast I made the angle inside. So you can very easily do that as well as body, body Z is also super easy for the way that you have the model. Let's see what we have in the body Z. All of it, okay. Body X, Y, what is this? This deformer is not doing anything, right? So I can turn it off. Okay, if we select all of the stuff that is on the top, including the skirt. Leaving only the... Um, okay. Leaving only the legs. And I call this... Um, body... Z. I have a cap locks on. <laughs> How to make a hips movement. I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. Uh, it goes way more in depth than what I can show you. So please go check that out. Uh, when I export the model do file, those left to export the deformers only mentions and parameters. It exports everything, so you can... Uh, if you don't export the deformers, the model will not move. Okay, now I should be able to do this. Woo! Adjusted the skirt really quick. What is the back of the skirt here? Okay. Okay, see how fast that it was? Why I say it's a pity not to put it? Because you can do it so fast. Uh, for angle Z, is it better to use a warp or a rotator? Usually I use the rotation deformer. The Z is only in a specific the, the for the Z if I use a warp deformer it's only for specific things. Let's say that I want my whole model to jiggle, like for example mascot models, they jiggle like uh, literally like marshmallows, then in that case, yeah. But uh, in general use a rotation deformer for um for uh, the Z. I look at so much on how to make breathing and you made it so simple. <laughs> I will have to make it, I make a tutorial on that, you know? It will take me literally three seconds, just like I did. Um, okay, I will say really, if you add the Z movement, it's gonna add a lot. Let's see. Uh, uh, um, body Z, angle Z, okay, let's see. Okay, she's already lo looking like she moves more. Mm, 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 more in detail, let's see the angles. I am blasting y'all about angles. They are okay. We could have some refining. Like having the top part more back. So it looks more like a sphere. Don't do it like I'm doing now, okay? If you do it, you would have to fix the singular deformers. Where do I submit? 
Hello, I'm sorry, my submissions were done before this stream, so I currently have a lot of submissions already. I will make sure to make another post for when I accept new submission. <laughs> make a video that is three seconds tutorials all in a row. There will be like a uh, live to the tips, uh, fast tips. Do you have plan for making video about Chibi Toggle? It's hard to find a tutorial about it on YouTube. Um, I'm not very good at making that one as well because it's like it takes time. <laughs> because depending a lot on the model that you have oh wow okay wait we need to fix this depending on the type of model that you have um, it could be completely different to make the chibi I checked your wish list and the little one for her bit ASMR that's quality <laughs> I have a 3D microphone so that would be amazing I was too scared to move a lot, so the movement are a little... Don't worry. Uh, where will you announce the submissions? Discord, Twitter, both of them. Like, um, in my announcement uh, channel, I sent it in Discord, in Twitter, in a YouTube community post. So literally any of my social media, you will find the link. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see that the angles could... Uh, be also in your case be more angled so you can very simply go to the temporary deform tool okay why does it go all the way down here what is the deformer that is doing that probably the back here yeah bam, bam, bam. okay let me see now. I kind of don't want to select the tie. All right, as you can see, it's like super simple to improve the ang the angles. Just like that, I use it the perspective. Don't reflect, <laughs> don't reflect if you have asymmetrical elements, okay? So you can reflect only deformers that are like this, okay? If you have a deformer uh, that is only one side, like this one, you cannot reflect it. Hi Chunky, how are you? So yeah, don't don't do what I just did. Okay, for that, what about the body? Let me see. You said you put a little movement. Of course, you could have added more movements, but I think it's, this one is looking nice. You could work a little bit more on this because it looks like she's moving inside of the breeze thingies and they are staying still like in there if i made it i will make it like more up here ah you could have done this in the same deformer the back the back one and the front one uh, in this case for example you can put it uh, in the same deformer instead So like instead of like this Okay, to me it looks like this It's following more the movement of the hand If you look at both hands together Like 
Like on this side, the arm is touching this side almost, and then when it goes up, it's not touching it anymore. If you pay attention to, to attention to these tiny details, like I did here, you will have a much smoother result. So in this case, for example, trying to keep the distance from this side to the side of the arm more consistent, that can really help in the general look. If I do the same for the other side... Mm -hmm. Are you hydrating chat? Okay, the physics seem nice. We have a lot of physics. Nice. That's nice too. I'm waiting for a package. If it arrives, I'll probably... What is this? Oh wait, it's a toggle? I think I found, uh, I found, um, cappotto, cappotto, yeah, it's a toggle, I found a toggle. What is it, toggle, okay, coda, tete, treccia, what is this, treccia, uh, treccia, okay, you could do like, uh, Face things, okay. Face, mm -mm -mm. let's make a folder for physics, a general physics, so we can have all of these here, this here, then make your nice divisions like this, so you have a little bit more. It's more tidy like this, right? Also, when you're working with the physics in here, now they are all subdivided like that. For the physics, you did good, I have to say. You guys are better at the physics than the rest. Honestly, I was also like that in the start. I think it, physics are easier to learn than um, doing angles. All right, I think I said enough for this one. I'm so thirsty. Drink. Oh wait, I wanted to see the. I wanted to see the jacket. Ah, treccia. This is the. Ah, well, damn! Look at the animation that she made. Oh, I like that. Let me see. Okay, this is the jacket. Ah. ah, this is because I didn't add it in the X. Okay, this is technically my fault, not yours. <laughs> Blush, glasses. Let's see, glasses. Okay, also the glasses look different because I changed some of the head rig. The hair animation looks very fun. Good job on this one. Okay, see it's a little bit... Um, you see how it stops a little bit? It's like... Yep, 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 yep. We might be able to make it a little bit smoother. Let me see how you made it. Okay, 
Okay, so if you added more movement and kept the length more um, consistent, it might not do that. It might be more smooth. You can also use, if you want, uh, onion skin. Now, if I synthesize the corners for this... Let me see... Okay, let's fix this a little bit. I will make the mesh a little bit more detailed, by the way. For stuff that is gonna have physics, it's usually better. And it doesn't need too much, literally just this. You already have it more detailed. Became a little bit crunched up. Let me see though how it's looking. Yeah, I really like the toggle animation that you made. Mm -hmm. Although I would have used skinning for this in general, but um, skinning is complex, so you did a good job. I will just make them move a little bit more. Okay, let me move to the next one. We have... Actually, I think I need to pee really quick. Uh, for the beta 5.0, the empty parameters don't need to be added for dividing different parameter folders. Ah, nice. Good job. They did it finally. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. Since uh, we've been alive for one, one hour, let's take a short break, shall we? I'll be right back in uh, like five minutes. Uh, you guys should also have a little break uh, to let your eyes rest for a moment, uh, stand up, and then come back, okay? Uh, the package is not here yet, unfortunately, but I need to be. <laughs> Be right back. See you in a little bit.
I'm broke. Actually broke. Uh, uh, okay. We can move on to the next model that we got. Which is Lizzie's model that wanted an opinion on their cutting. Okay, Lizzie said, I'm doing my best to improve my cutting. This model does have a nude base. Ooh, no nippies or anything at all. Mm, but might be careful about removing clothes, especially if it's on stream. Okay, thank you. There are some parts I just couldn't figure out how to do, like the bangs with the hat and the horns being in the right place and the clown collar where I just separated each ruffle individually, so I could really use any advice. So, okay. My pa pumpkin soup has quite the attitude. I did not, it did not like the blender. <laughs> oh, why? What happened? Would you recommend putting XY physics on one deformer or put them on separate deformers? Usually, I put them on separate deformers if I plan on doing XY, X1, X2, Y1, Y2. If you have only one X and only one Y, you can honestly use the same deformer and then synthesize. the corners of the two parameters okay this one is for cutting so uh, let me open it really quick we say the least is model wow okay there you guys are sending me amazing models holy shit I work it hard, but the hair and the hat confuse me. Okay, we will see. The pumpkin put up a fight against the blender. I think I should have cooked it longer. Oh yeah, pumpkin takes long to cook. In fact, uh, often um, people use a pressure cooker to cook it because it takes long. It's long. Okay, let's see. The bangs. You had problems on the bangs and the hat. Oh, I kind of would have made it in a one single layer. Hello, Ciara, how are you? But the hairstyles are showing the bands are a toggle aside from the curls. Ah, okay, let's do that then. Let me see, why is it that you put the bangs separate? I would have put like this. With uh, its respective... Uh, they are all under the hat, right? So if we put all of these... Uh, here... Ah, uh, that's what you meant. You had a problem with the horns. So you can use masks. So you could have made um, the bangs normally, so a full piece. All of this that you split uh, bottom, bottom and top, you could have done on the same piece. Okay, so like this, full piece, and then inside, in, in, inside, inside, inside of uh, um, Life 2D, you take the ID of this and this, clip inside of the clipping ID of this one, and then select Invert Mask. I'll just open Lilymon model again to show you. So let's say that we wanted the hair to actually be on top of this, but we have the same situation like that you have that we cannot put it on top. I select this piece of hair, copy, go to, for example, this that I want to cover. 
select them and paste the ID over here and invert the mask and as you can see now it goes behind okay ah don't worry Lily one I'm not talking about your model I'm talking I wanted to show what buttons to click inside of life 3 so I just open your model to show uh, Lizzie what buttons they're supposed to use it's as simple as that so take uh, take a um, copy the ID of your hair and paste it in the clipping ID of your horn and clip it invert mask that's gonna solve your problem hee <laughs> hee okay got it let's see the rest the horns they are small so one layer is honestly okay i would have done one layer as well chain glow i like how you made them You also could have made one single big light and because in life 3 you can clip one thing onto multiple things so this layer that is up here you could clip it both to the chain wrap and the chain dangly but that's not too important what does invert mask really do? So usually if I have a mask, let's say in this case, this layer is only gonna be inside of the chain. The invert mask would make it so that the light is only outside of the chain, not inside. Yeah, masks work very differently in life to than what they do in art uh, programs. Uh, let's see the hat. Balls. Bell. I don't see anything in the bell layer. Okay. Ruffle. Okay. Hat itself. Very good. The bell. Okay, this one is nicely divided. Wait a moment. <laughs> I'm back, I'm sorry, the package arrived. <laughs> yeah, it was the package, my proteins are here. <laughs> How do you do that? Do what? The multiple uh, clipping? Very simply, in the clipping ID list, like I showed you earlier, you don't write only one mask, you write the one ID, like So you have the clipping IDs and then you have the little box. You just write all of the layers that you need to put. So like a chain, uh, the ID, whatever the ID is. Then you put a space, a comma, another space and then you put the other one. So like that you have a multi, you can have a multi, like a one light layer shine through multiple objects. Yeah, the same that you do for the mouth to clip it in the inside mouth. Or also the invert mask the same that we use uh, with the mask the green masks. Mm. Okay, the ahoga is covered by the hat, so I'm assuming that you will have the hat uh, removable. The hair looks right. What are you saving? <laughs> okay. Hmm. 
Honestly, the hair looks okay. Horn, shadow in a separate layer. Good job on that. We have a little top cover. Okay, you might find it easier if you have this bigger. It might be easier or even have it this size. But make a giant layer like this. Now you are gonna make it detail, okay? Not like I'm making now. And then you clip it on top of this one that you made. So that you can make it scroll through when you move your head. That looks very nice. The space, the comma, space is why it didn't work for me. If you are adding them manually, you have to add the comma. If you uh, hold the shift and select multiple layers or control and select already multiple layers, so copy and paste, it's automatically gonna add the commas. Okay, for that. Ring. Thank you so much for your follow. Welcome, welcome. This one, okay. We got the nose. Sweat, sweat, sweat. Lashes. Okay, you divided all of the. Usually, I don't divide all of the lashes. To just to optimize. But uh, you can divide more. Honestly, I am a very, I'm a little bit, not lazy, but like, I like to simplify things, but it's okay. You did a good division over here. Ah, be careful. In this case, look how this layer is like fully inside of the box. Ah! <laughs> My head photo is going to be like hell. Okay. Charging battery. Charging. Thank you. That's my headphones telling me that the battery is low. How did you color eyes like that? Mm. I don't know. Shizu will have to tell us. Um, yeah, like in this case, you can see that the lash is kind of here on the side. It means that we have a stray pixel somewhere around here. If you use the layer property and add effect, we will find the stray pixels. Okay, in this case it's here. We can simply del delete them, delete the layer effect. There are more. Okay, now the lash is its own layer. Just to keep everything tidy. How do I even send files? I sent the link on my Twitter and my Discord, but currently I'm not accepting them anymore because I got a lot already. When do the next uh, batch, uh, when I do the next batch, I will uh, post again. Mm -mm. Okay, these are a lot of layers. Uh, you separate them well. Wings inner. Ah, these are wings, okay. You have all of them separate, good job on that. Highlight. Highlight, pupil, okay, you did a good job on this. Same here, the sclera is like on this side. If we, okay. It was kind of all blurred to the side. And also there must be some stray pixels also over here because it's very much on the left. Yeah, okay, like now we removed it. 
Brow, brow, heart red, chin, nose, highlight, I did a very good division. Line, lip up, back teeth. All of these you could technically add them in a folder and then turn the folder to 0% opacity. So it's just uh, faster. It's actually a really good way to find Mr. Pixels. Oh, I read it somewhere. I honestly don't remember what it is. Banks shadow also separate. Nice. You might want to separate also these ones left and right. Just like you did for the hair strands, left and right for all of them. Ears, okay, let me see the ears. I don't think I've ever seen a cloud with clown VTuber, by the way. Good job. Ears are good. Color, <gasps> you divided every piece. Oh, wow! A skilled rigger can make this very nice. But you need to know how to work with the um, layer order for this. Because when she rotates... When it rotates to the side... This... To this side... It will be like this kind of right so this one is on top when it rotates to this side the center one will go under so you need to work with the layer order for this one mm -mm. <clears throat> I cry in free life today, not allowing all of these objects. Uh, honestly, this is very detail cutting. You could work also with uh, just a front one and back one. Yeah, you could work with the front one like this and back one like that. I would also draw the side of the back one, the underside here so that you are able to do a nice rotation of the whole thing to the side right and still have uh, here like there's not a hole right if there is if there was not this layer there would be a hole here okay so i would add uh, also like not add, like make this back layer longer all the way down. Okay. Um, okay, for that. Check the sleeves. Okay. They cover the whole arm. You honestly did a very good job. I should do that to the back of behind the neck. Probably yes, because dividing this so well, you will be able to make it rotate around a lot. So if you have that layer like that, you can really use this cutting that you did. Thumb, okay. Okay. 
You see, son, it's really good. I have uh, nothing else to say. You also got tiny wheels. You might be able to make this look like it rotates if you want uh, an extra tip. I should have this the same graphic that you have. Ah, shit, it's not the same. Okay, like, if you make this layer without the um, texture, let's say that it was like this without the texture, and then you actually take the texture and put it on top, one is it the one that I have I don't remember let's say this one for example yours is different but let's say that one why are you not importing it oh, it's a layer it's a Okay, then you clip it on top and you can make it like scroll through So it looks like they're rolling You could do that if you want It's just a little trick I guess You will have just to make sure that um, The top and the bottom are seamless How to convert a um, MOC3 file into a Life3 file? You cannot do that because uh, the MOC3 file is the file only to view the model. The file to edit the model is the CMO. This is the editable file. In fact, if someone is sending you the model only to use it but not to edit it, you will not have the CMO3 file. Okay, honestly, you did a good job. A really, really good job. The tail straight like that is nice. Um, I have nothing to say other than what I already told you. Let's see the next one. Okay, it's another live 2D file. Uh, 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 uh. It's from Danny Brie. Okay. I just learned sh my shading with practice. Uh, um, sorry, I can help more green fox. Ah, okay. Sorry, we were talking to each other. I will defi definitely separate them. I also want to add the back of the foot uh, so it can turn a little. Oh yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good idea too. Mm -hmm. The soup is done. Okay, give me some. <laughs> okay, this model is from Danny Brie and they said, "Hi YouTube. I didn't do the art, only the rigging. I would like your feedback if possible. I still struggle a bit with the face and body angles and making bouncy smooth physics." By the way, some parameters are in Spanish and extra mod blend shapes were more like a test. Didn't end up using them. Uh, hey, hippie, yes, love your tutorial so much. Thank you. Okay. Very cute. I love the hair. Let's see really quick how the physics are working. Wow. Oh. Okay, the Y is amazing. While the... X, we could work a little bit on it. Like, the Y is moving a lot compared to the X. They are both nice, but uh, with this much movement on Y, I would make it more move also on the X. 
Can I submit a model with parameter for name? Honestly, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's see. You said you struggle with uh, face and body angles and smooth physics, so let's check that. Okay. Again, a super simple trick. Let's put a guide here again, show guide, add a guide to the coordinates of the vertex. If we put it up, we see how this heart goes more like inward. And that's not supposed to happen because I am moving it only to the Y axis, okay? So this should not move left and right, only up and down. Yeah, my model has inverted body and uh, head angle. So if we start by making it so that this moves only up and down, you will see that the model already looks improved. I think that the mouth is a little bit too much on an angle compared to the eyes. If we look at the, the diagonal that the eyes are making, it goes like this, while the mouth is a little bit more angled, so we could decrease that slightly. Okay, the lower is good. I see that the bangs are moving a lot as well, left and right. In... I would work on that as well. So as you see, it looks like it goes out, and it goes out. So out, in, out. In, out, in, out. We can work to make that not happen. I love hearts and cheeks so much, this model is so cute, mm, right? Mm -hmm. I love simple models with all of my heart. With all of the models being so hard to make, so complex, uh, every single detail, simple models have a special place in my heart. Okay, same here. It deforms a lot. I want to try to make it have a more consistent movement again. I'm looking at where the eyebrows are. The hair did go a little bit more down than the eyebrows. A little bit is okay, but too much is not.
we can see that this is already looking more um, polished compared to the other side look how much the hair is moving on its own it goes left right left right compared to this side it's a bit more smooth, uh, the center of the bangs. Hello Stella, don't worry, I don't think I reviewed uh, anyone, any Stella's model so far, so it's okay. Can you please teach me your art details someday? I want to start making also um, art tutorials on this channel, so feel free to leave uh, uh, sus to subscribe to this channel and uh, turn on notifications to not miss the next streams and uh, have notification for all of the new tutorials that I post wink wink so yeah I will work like that uh, the, I do this with my mods as well very simply slide up and down and see what looks funky Try to have everything go in the same diagonal. If you slide towards the angle Y, try to make it so the stuff doesn't float left and right like a lot. And also like the ears. If you look at the angle of the eyebrows, Thank you so much for the for the super chat. I really appreciate. Clap, 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 clap. Get appreciated. Get appreciated. Get appreciated. Ah! Get appreciated. Get appreciated. I felt appreciated. Thank you so much, Feet. I really appreciate so much. Oh my god, really, really, really helped me with the, the channel and everything. Thank you. You know, I want to put more work on this channel and of course that's a time investment from me i am already super happy if you're just here watching and just chatting but any type of support i really appreciate also hydrate okay honestly it's always the same like i want to like take a screenshot and post this put this here so I can show you more what I mean, very simply, because you always hear me say the diagonal, diagonal, but you're like, what diagonal? So if I make a line and run through the eyebrows, I want also the eyes to follow that, and the eyes are looking good because they are following that. I want the mouth to follow that. Earlier the mouth was more like uh, on the top one was more angled And we wanted the ears to follow that right look uh, where the tip of this ear is compared to where the, the tip of this ear is Okay We want them so this one is supposed to go more down and this one is supposed to go more up uh, You will see now That I work on it If I screenshot it again and come back here Look now at the difference Well, my line is not long enough, but Right, I could still make it a little bit better, but look at the difference compared to before. It's more adhering to that diagonal, way better than it was before. That's what you really want to do at this point. Like this is gonna look way more. It makes more sense just in general. Okay, you also said about the body. Uh, 
your mouth is asymmetrical to see this better you can go to show, show guide do you see similar lines for the top of the head so i imagine those lines but if we were working with the back of the head it would also be like that and i will try to make it meet like that So yeah, I don't really, I don't really actually write these lines, but I imagine them. What was I saying? Yeah, uh, show guide, guide settings, add a new guide, vertical, you can change this color to like green. And let's place it in the center. You can scroll it to reach the center, okay. Like this, we have a guide in the center to see that this is not very symmetrical. We can use this guide to help us. And there's also a grid that you can use. But in this case, uh, you don't have it. Uh, you don't have the art of file symmetrical. I think uh, because the grid is like that. So, like that, you're able to see better. Where's the center? It's a lot of fine work. Um, like it, 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 it is a good model, but if you slowly go in and add those details, it's gonna look better. Of course, now I moved some stuff, so it's fucked up a little bit, but you understand what I mean. So try to make things more symmetrical like that. Um, let me see about the body. How did you do the line thing? You go into show, guide, guide settings, and you add it here. Vertical, I added a green one. That's very useful. I mean like going the other way. Yeah, you still follow the diagonals, but they are opposite. So down, the diagonal is going down, and up, the diagonal is going up. It's the same uh, concept though, yeah, same thing. For the body... Okay, why? I would make the hips separate from the body said, I wouldn't really help. Usually, if you are able to work uh, body X and uh, hips, uh, body Z and hips Z to, uh, separate, uh, they usually look better. Angle, position, reflect. I would have angle Z, let me see. Yeah, as long as you have it at the, in the same one as the um, body said, uh, they kind of clash. No problem. Hello, Collapses! How are you? I hope you're good. For the physics, uh, you said that you're not able to make a smooth physics. Um, for the hair, right? No, bouncy smooth physics in general. Okay, let me see. Clothes physics. Usually what makes the physics uh, bouncy is the diagonals. Like in this case... Um, 
Uh, okay. I prefer in this case you have uh, X2 and X1 in different uh, deformers. I will do modeling deformer, apply deformer to child elements. Like this, you have uh, one deformer, two parameters, and you are able to smooth out. Look how this looks like an angle. Pow, pow. Right? Instead, we can go in, make it smoother. We need more divisions. Also in the other ones. Ah, there we are. We need to increase the divisions. Okay, like that you should be able to... It's not moving. What happened? Okay, it bugged. So yeah, like this we can make it more smooth and less like an angle for all of them. It should already look a little bit better. I want to see maybe for the hair because for the hair is more um, evident when physics are more clunky. Is it is possible to send archives over or not? I'm interested in getting feedback on how to improve. Hello Lady Dandelion! Um, so for now, no, because I got a lot already, but I will do more rounds in the future. Make sure to check my Discord and my twitter i will surely make a new post when it is that i am doing this type of stream again this is my discord Uh, in this case, I would have probably um, used skinning. Why? 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 Ah, these are just wrongly named. Okay, then we can also merge these two. Modeling pass, so we are able to work on the angles as well. We should be able to smooth it out a little bit, but I prefer doing skinning instead of this. Scared of sending mine because it's bad. If you were a master, you would be the one teaching me, not the other way. <laughs> So don't worry. Is there any ways to make the eye character to not follow tracking instead of to blinking? Yeah, it's in VTube Studio. Go to the... wait. Double click, go to the settings, go to these settings here, scroll all the way to where your eye open is and then turn on auto blinking. And it's gonna do that. Hello Fox, I'm all good. How are you finding the YouTube stream, Yoshi? Honestly, the same exact as Twitch minus the redeems, I guess, but on the managing side is more or less the same. Only thing I still cannot get the bot to work, but it might be that I messed up something. Because I set up the bot and everything and even in sending the um, timer messages every once in a while, but if I use a command, it doesn't answer. So, it, it does. Okay, um, 
This stream uh, YouTube are nice. I love them. <laughs> Why are you streaming here? Because um, Twitch is taking me too long. Like is is I stream many hours on Twitch and my revenue from there is very low. So I want to make my YouTube channel grow because YouTube is more affordable for me. Mm, Twitch gives me around uh, um, between five cents and two dollars per stream from um, ads revenue while it shows you viewers like 15 ads per stream and that's very that's very bad the share should be more towards us also youtube has a 70 30 split for all of the um, viewer support so if you sub uh, if you send super chat i get 70 percent And uh, on donations, I get the same as Twitch because it's the same. I literally had a problem of me staring into screen sometimes, and my eyes kept being wide open on parameter 1 instead of parameter 0.8 because my eyes are so wide. Well, <clears throat> I rig models to have, <clears throat> oh my god, their eyes a total open to 1.2, not 1. If I had it the way you have, my eyes would also be like oh, super wide, let me see. Ma, not even that much. Um, to reduce that problem, you can increase the upper number of the input inside of your YouTube studio of your eye. VTube Studio reduces some bounciness of the model. I don't know why physics from VTube Studio to Live 2D, I mean from Live 2D to VTube Studio, they don't go the same way. They are different. In fact, as I'm rigging, I usually always um, export the model before finishing. Like along the way, I already start exporting and checking. Just uh, as a little uh, help, make sure that uh, your uh, Live 3D and uh, VTube Studio <laughs> are uh, in the same FPS. That should help. Up here. FPS, put 60. If you have 60 in VTube Studio. I watched your tutorials and you edit it there on 0 0.8 by default. Um, yeah, but the maximum of the parameter is still uh, 1.2. But you can uh, you can change it to your uh, to whatever is needed for you. It's not that my one is top rule. Okay, like from here. My face is different from yours, right? So if you change this number, it's gonna help you make your eye look more open. Like now it's gonna look way more open. If I increase this number, it's gonna look way more closer. So you can increase it until it looks right. Also, I think you can take clips here as well in case you want to save a, mo a moment. Where there is the FPS in VTube Studio, it's here. So in the camera settings here, you put the FPS. And in Live 3D, it's in the physics setting top right over here. Yeah, also if you get a model rigged by super professional rigger, um, you may have to do some setting yourself. Okay, just like I said, I will use skinning for this one, but as you saw, I did some manual fixing and smoothing on this strand, and it already looks better than the 
other side. I think I can move on to the next one. Next one is from Pronoes. Okay. This file was created in the free version. For commercial use, files created in the free version is limited to individual enterprises with sales of less than 10 million yen. <laughs> I don't got 10 million yen, don't worry. Oh, she got her hands up. Okay. Let's see the message. Hi, I'm a regular. You know this Yoshi, but chat man not. And I wanted to thank you for your tutorials and amazingness. Oh, thank you. You really drew in a lot of wonderful people into your community, and I'm very happy to be a rat, a sneaky rat. <laughs> also, for your criticism, consider that I'm using free life today, so I have a lot of restrictions that I have to find workarounds to. Oh, and finally, the Mecha Show animation parameter is an, for an animation on a separate object, a Mecha Octopus, that is its own model, so I can show it. Okay, okay. No worries. Is mine on the list? Um, your name is Green Little Fox. Did you submit? Because I don't see your name in here. I mean, if you sent to the model, I have it. If you did, if you didn't send it, I don't have it. <laughs> okay, so we want uh, something on the rigging. It took Studio Life to use Unity, but Unity recently I saw that. But um, Denchi, that is the developer of YouTube Studio, seems pretty chill. He was like, "Hey, I guess I'll just pay more." Do you see mine? Fifi, let me see. You wrote your name in the in the name section, right? Yes, I do see yours. I went by Fox. Ah Then yes, I got you here you are. But I don't think I watched yours yet. Lilimon, Angelina, Shitsi, Danny Bree, David, Pronois. No, I didn't see yours yet. Mm -mm. Rich people are not as affected as Indies. I don't know if Denchi is uh, considered rich people. I don't know how many downloads of YouTube Studio has. But yeah, I don't know. They'll probably back up a little bit with that Unity thing. You know what? Um, otherwise, people will start finding another another way. Like a random normal dev that uh, made their thing in their tiny home studio with their best friend. Where are they going to take out the millions to pay that? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I love the hands moving when she moves. That's cute. <laughs> okay, I don't know why you have a body Y on the left amount, but Left le left the mouse button X, but I would like to put it on Y. Okay, let me see. Why you don't see mine? I don't see yours. I said I, f I saw Fox. So I just was searching for... I was searching for green little Fox. So I didn't see it, but I do see Fox only. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Your head angles are the same as I said in the other models. This seems to be a very common uh, situation. Some people do not prefer to do it angled like I do, but still, in this case, for example, they are puffing out instead of just going down straight. And we could pull this part a little bit more up. If you look at the eyebrows, right, when the head goes down, the hair covers a lot of the eyebrows. I feel like it should cover a little bit less. Still cover them because the head is going down, but not so much. I completed my first model and I'm proud of how she looks, but the rigging straight dog one. <laughs> Gambare! <laughs> you can do it! It takes time and be patient. You wanna see how would I rig this from zero? Let me show you from zero so it's easier. Like the hair, for example. Oh. Okay, I wouldn't put this one inside of the head and go like that. From zero, I will do it like this. So make it active, turn it to the side. Start the simple, turn the smooth on. Go to the side. To the side, to the side. This in, this in, this in. Out, 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 out. Work with this a little bit. Reflect motion. Remember to reflect motion instead of rigging left and right two, two times. Then for going up and down, down, bigger, and curve it down a little bit. Oh, I forgot to make it active. Is the back head invisible? The back hair? We got the back hair. Okay, down and down. Okay, then we make the angles with the synthesized corners and we can angle it a little bit to look better. Right, this is how I will do it. Very simple, as soon as you start um, playing too much with the um, single pieces like this, it start becoming wobbly and wonky. Try to do as much global editing as you can. The ads was way louder. It's always like that because they want your attention. But at least it's like two ads uh, and they are skippable instead of 15 from YouTube, from Twitch and you cannot skip them. 
Okay, yeah, and also, like I said, you can choose not to do this, but I prefer to make it the angles like this. To me, this is easier and it makes the thing instantly look better. Okay, pay, pay attention to these details again, look at the eye. For example, when the head goes down, it looks like the eye squash and become wider. We don't want that. You can have them in the same deformer, so you save also space. Yeah, sometimes you don't think about this until someone points it out. Yeah, the eyes, usually I also use them in a same deformer, you could do that. Okay, let's see about the rest. Why did you put the rotation deformer for this? Ah, it's not a rotation deformer. Okay, if you use a warp deformer for your angle z x, I mean z, you want to hold the x, shift and drag down until you reach the chin to rotate it. So you still have the rotation point from down here instead of at the center of the head. Right? And then you can tilt the neck if you want to follow it a little bit. I open, okay. Eyeballs, okay. Brow, okay. Usually I mix the brow X, let me see. Okay, you use them, you do uh, both of them, very good. Yeah, brow X, uh, Y, I, X, Y is nice if you can if you put them in the same deformer because like that you rig them only to go for example to the left however you wanna do and then you don't need to do the other side you just reflect right that's way faster than doing a one eye and then flipping it and also it saves you space since you're using a free the free life to do my brain is melting <laughs> hey I'm starting to get a little bit melted brain to seeing so many models Does uh, the free life to the ever size um, uh, limit or did you make the model this small because of your PC or something? Because I think it's very small. Yeah, you managed to fit all of it in a 1000 by 1000 um, pixels. Wait, did you scale it down? Size limit, okay. Then we cannot do anything about it. Hello, Sayak. Yeah, usually my models take like 4,000 by 4,000 and multiple ones, like four or five of them. But if it's a limit of life to the... <laughs> Cannot do much about it. As for the body, you did really good. I love the hand movement. A very good job about that. To make fingers um, tilt better, this is a little trick that you can use. Make like a triangle like this where you want it to tilt. And then close the triangle. It's gonna look more like it's bended. Uh, in this case, we could also use some extended interpolation to help it to not do that. 
I don't know if free life today has that again. I really like how you did the body, you did a good job. Okay, honestly I think if you work a little bit more on refining the, the head angles, this is very good, a good job. Uh, let's uh, check really quick, life to the pro versus free. So we can have a better idea, also because they change our stuff. Only general uses and more scale enterprise, annual sales less than 10 million yen may use the free version. Also note that. Um, maximum numbers of texture file per models. How much is how much is the maximum? Yes, we don't know much. This refers to the images or parts which compose a character or other um, the images necessary. Okay, how many? How many? Bruh. We shall not know, I guess. Maximum number of Artemish, 100. Okay, so we can have a maximum 100 layers. Maximum number of motion parameters, 30. Okay, how many did we use here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Hmm, okay. If you didn't reach the limit of the formers, I would add more physics to the hair. So this one will be a good Y movement and uh, X movement can be like this. Like one side like this, the other side like this. If you are able to squish that in with all of the limitations. Maximum 50 deformers. Don't look at my screen. How many do we have here? Twenty-three, okay, we have some more room. We have some more room to add something. Number of parts, this is literally the number of folders. <laughs> so you just you can just not use folders. You're gonna cry a little bit for how messy the file is, but you don't like it's not necessary to put folders if there's a limit. Ah shit, you have a maximum number of work the format division nine by nine. This is very bad. Nine by nine is very bad. How many you have, you go here, file model statistics, and it's gonna tell you number of parts, deformers, art mesh, clippings, and all of that. Edit, form, this, so the main features why I buy the Pro instantly, rather than using the free, is Copy, paste, blend the forms. Number of work performer divisions in 9 by 9 is way too little. Like, it's way too little. And the number of deformers and layers. Apply parameter to child object. Um, That's the most. Hmm. Copy paste of mesh by combining the art mesh copy and paste inversion and function is possible to efficiently create an object made that is laterally or vertically symmetrical. You cannot copy paste meshes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 
but if you buy the pro version literally it's not that expensive okay if you are able to sell a couple of models i will buy the the pro version as soon as i can because the free version is not enough if you plan to work with this you need the pro version yeah the good thing is that as you keep buying it it uh, becomes cheaper like the first year is 14,000 yen and then it gets to 10,000 yen from the third year on so the first year it cost almost $100 and the third year on is $73 yeah it's not it's not that expensive if I think that if you save up $100 you buy in one year one year of life to the end then you can sell, how many models can you sell in one year like you would very much get this back and make a lot more so you with life to the, you can also make like animated emotes so to me in my opinion life to the is very cheap <laughs> Um, okay, I think I'll move to the next one. Next one is Vi Horten. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I wish to sell at least one. You need to make something that people will want. So either in the start uh, be very cheap or very good. That's uh, the two options. <laughs> in the start I also had very cheap models because uh, my quality was not good. There is a student discount to too. Um, try to check that out because uh, often Japanese uh, only accept um, Japanese students. Are we participating in the roasting to send our models? For now, I already got sent all of the models, so if you want to check for the next round, make sure to um, join my Discord server. But for now, all of the entries are full. Here is my Discord and also on my um, Twitter I will for sure show. Okay, Sky. Let me see. Vi Horten said, Hello Yashino, I've improved on my ring with the help of all of your tutorials. Yeah, nice. Uh, you don't understand how much you helped me reach my skill level now. I love you so much. Oh! I love you too. Um, okay. Oh, wow, this is cute. Uh, animated emotes are good for grinding on the free version. Yeah, like uh, for uh, emotes, uh, usually you would need like two, three parameters and like uh, ten deformers. So animated emotes are very good uh, actually for um, saving up some money to buy the full version. This is very cute. Okay. <gasps> wow, the hair is skinned. Is it? No. Yuri does an amazing job with this hair. Very good. Yeah, right? The hair is very good. I thought it was skinned in the first moment. They used the extended interpolation. And many, many deformers and parameters. Clothes physics, hair physics. Okay, we got multiple... Back here, parameters, 
They did an amazing job here. Just the three parameters. Some adjustment to the smaller hair and the back hair became amazing. Good, really good job on the back hair physics. That's really what stands out to when I first moved this around. I don't know if I got much to say on this model. Let me see the singular parts. This folder is empty. Okay, eyes. Very good. Very good. We got the bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Very good. Ah, oh, you don't have a brow angle. I would really add the brow angle. It really changes a lot. It does this. That's all done with the brow angle. So I think it really changes a lot how the model looks. So I would add the brows angle. The mouth is very nice as well. The hair angles could use some refinement as well, but very subtle. Like I think this eye should do more like this. But what did we use for the eyes? This is not the deformer. This is okay. A little bit like this, but it's very subtle. In general, it's looking really good. Yeah. yeah it's very good like the only thing that i can notice is like how much the hair here the hair is right on the side of the eye and when i rotate the hair is so detached from the from the eye okay so i will move this hair more like this That's already looking good like that. Yeah, very simple adjustments. It's looking, it's very good already. I wouldn't have much to say. The back hair is looking a little bit flat over here. We might bring it back a little bit to give more volume to the back of it. So it looks more like she's got the hair cranium volume under there but it's very subtle bless you <laughs> thank you that's all let's see the body angles okay if we really want to be picky ah this is only one layer Aren't these separate? No, they are, okay. If you had put these two lines on a separate layer, it would have been easier. If we really wanna be picky, I could be like, okay, we could make this more like this. So it looks more like it's rotating to the side. Okay. What do I have to say? That's all I had, uh, I could find because uh, for the rest it's looking uh, incredible. I I don't have much to say more for this. What do you think? It looks, it looks really good. There were some animation files as well that she sent me. 
Let's check that just uh, because... I don't know if I will have anyone else send me animations. Wing animation. This is the animation to turn them off. You cannot, uh, you cannot have an animation uh, that then turns into a toggle. Like you cannot uh, use an animation to trigger a toggle. I really wish that they change this in VTube Studio. So if you have a toggle, it's a toggle. You cannot be like, uh, play this animation and then uh, keep the, the wings off. If you play this animation in VTube Studio, it's gonna do this. And then go back to default like that after a second, so it's not gonna stay down. That's a, that's a VTube Studio problem for now. Sleeping. Okay, this is very good sleeping. What is this music? <laughs> that's very good. And we have a heart animation. What is this? I could send animations. I was not uh, thinking on reviewing them, but I have to say nothing on these anyways because they are good. In general, approved. You did a very good job. <laughs> Thank you for sending your model in. I will just uh, do very like uh, picky refinement because unless you make the keybind also toggle the actual parameter. Yeah, you will have to put like a long enough delay into the toggle to make it then turn on But I tried doing that and it can create some weird bugs Where they toggle together at the same time or it still plays the animation first and then it and then it does the toggle It's weird. I wish I uh, with YouTube studio just um, adds uh, uh, an animation that you can sync with a toggle like to, so that they add some settings for that so you can tune that okay now we have a looks arcana model let me open it Ah crap, you sent me the MOC, not the CMO. Oh, but are you in chat, Lux? You sent me the MOC, not the CMO, so I cannot open it in live today. Did you mean that or you want to send me real quick the CMO so I can actually open it and check it better? Yeah, you sent me this. Well, I need this. <laughs> I know they put these names so similar. Uh, they should, uh, I don't know, give them different names. Don't worry, if you can, otherwise uh, I'll do it next stream because I am on model number 10 and I have a total 25. So... If you cannot... Uh, okay, give me a second. Okay, okay. Hydrate my boys. Yeah, the MOC3 file is the one that you get um, like in the YouTube Studio folder. Yeah, you can send me. My DMs are open. So... Um, instead of the CMO3 one is the actual one that you can use. Ah, 
Ah, it's 25, but I closed <laughs> the answers because many people told me that they wanted to send me more, but I ran out of space. 25 is a lot. To the view it is, because I'm spending like at least 15 minutes each uh, to explain. I reviewed uh, 9 in 2 hours and half, so... One hundred and fifty minutes I reviewed the nine. So I spent approximately yeah fifteen minutes for each uh, model. Thank you for your follow, Gerardo Mazarivos. Uh, thank you, thank you. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Depends. If they were 25 and I was doing like a smasher pass, then it would be very little because it takes me one second to say smash or pass, you know. One day I will do something like that. I never did it. VTuber models smash or pass. That's fun. But I will do that based off of designs, not rigging or all of that, to be honest. They said, baby, I will start doing the next one and then I'll do yours after that one so you have all of your time to send me. So next model is a Twisty. And, ah, yeah, okay, you sent me. Okay, I just got it, okay, okay. You still sent me the MOC, I need the CMO. <laughs> Cambare, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Will those uh, who didn't make it uh, this time have to resubmit next time? No, no, no. The ones that I already got, I'm just gonna do them next time, uh, just like that. Basically, what I will do after this stream, I will delete the submissions that I already watched. So I free up some uh, Google Drive space and then I reopen uh, for uh, new submissions. Because, yeah, I ran out of a Google Drive space. <laughs> so the form is full and I had to close it. I have to zip it. Uh, do you have a Google Drive? You can send it through there. Or like you wanna email it to me? <laughs> this is my email if you wanna send it like that. I'll check the, ne the next one first so you have your time, okay? I don't wanna, I don't wanna make you rush. Okay, next one is a PSD. It's from Twisty Tales. Very cute! Okay, what did they say? Hi YouTube, I didn't do the art for this. It is by Fabi R. This is gonna be my pop star model, so I'm gonna be trying to rig it very, very well. Just any tips for making a smooth rig will be great. Oh, okay. Well, I can tell you what you can do depending on... Uh, on the... Um, Cutting that they sent you. It's very cute, a very cute design. It's giving me vibes of uh, KDA, so very cute. If I was you, before rigging this model, I would rename the layers because working with this might be a little bit messy. Si 
since you don't got any names don't worry don't worry okay we have a lot of layers in the back here so with some work you will be able to make a your ponytail very nice uh, going to the side uh, I will start uh, by putting the whole thing to the side like this then adjusting the top part uh, to kind of fold back in this is a little bit harder because I'm like hypothetically speaking right and you can use all of this part to like make them like they are coming all from the same little section technically like this kinda and then you can move this one We'll add this on top. It might be easier if you have that on top. And then you move it like this. Right? Like this you can put all of the all of the ponytail on the side. So you have a good division on the ponytail there bunch of hair layers yeah you really need to rename this or you're gonna go crazy okay since you have so many um so many layers i would advise that uh, for example this 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 and this when working on the head angles, you put them all in the same deformer. So, for head angle, you work all. Oh my god. For head angle, you work all of this as if it was one layer, as well as this. And then, when you go in the physics, first make a physics um, as if it was one single layer and then go more in detail and maybe make this one move more and this one move more just at the tip maybe because if you work each one of these singularly from the start you're gonna go crazy and it's not gonna look nice <laughs> so yeah, i advise working in big chunks first and then add some extra separate movements um let me see what else you got a very nice cutting for the year to be very 3d looking literally in the art program i'm already able to kind of rig it Right? This is like what it will look like when you rotate to the side. Of course, this is not life 3D, so I cannot make it precisely like I would in life 3D, but it's already a good idea, right? You can do it like this for the years. I have a tutorial on that, so you can check that out. Let me see. Eyebrows are very simple. The eyes are also cut the way I cut them, so... You can just follow my eye tutorial. In general, it's cut well. You will not have problems in rigging this, I think. Just to rename that and uh, do the years, like I said. You should be able to go fine. Yeah, it's a good model. Yeah, 
Not much to say other than that, yeah. Make sure to add a little separate physics for all of these tiny elements, since you got them separate, you can add a very nice wiggly movement. Since these and these are the same, you could copy paste these to here and have uh, all of the physics already done. Yeah, I think that's all I can say about this. Okay, let me get your uh, model really quick. Ah, uh, now I have the CMO, nice. That's the one. <laughs> um, mm -mm -mm, download, download. I could work on named if I drew the model, but if I didn't draw the model, I will get confused with all of the layers. Don't worry, don't worry. I also got really confused in the start. When I was starting, I remember all this CMO, MOC, the world, blah, 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 all of that. Ah, it's so confusing. <laughs> Okay, this is from Lux. They wrote Watch out to the mother has multiple outfits and has hair toggles. She starts without uh, hair and in underwear. It's okay. Might not be better to show that. I'd love to hear some feedback on the rigging. I made it a while ago and I have been working on a better version for a few months now. And I want to hear what I can improve for that new version. Also, character design wise, I love to hear some stuff too. Thank you in advance. Your tutorials made this model possible. Also, how YouTube feel virtually hugged. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let me see. So, we have a lot of stuff that we can toggle on. I see a bunch of deformers. I want to see. Okay, you have a lot of different outfits. Okay. This is fun, they often do this for like um, for VTuber models that uh, are um, made like to be sold on coffee or gumroad. Uh, I think this is the main outfit, it looks very beautiful. I love the colors. Um. Let me see, I really like the colors. Um, although I think uh, these many little snowflakes may be a little bit confusing. Mostly because I cannot see them very well when they are here. I will try to think of a workaround, like maybe darkening uh, with a little bit of a gradient to the top part of the skirt or something, because if I look at it like this, I cannot really make out that there are snowflakes also here. I can only see them here and on the arms. So let's see. Wait a moment. <laughs> Something is happening. Why is this like that? Oh my god. Something is happening. Oh, wait, let me check really quick. Okay, you work at the probably. We have the clothes on, and that's probably for like the physics or the body. 
toggle the underwear off. Ah, okay, if you toggle off the underwear, it does that. Okay, okay. Papa. Ah, okay, now it works right. Okay, mm, I have some opinions. The bazoobers look like a little bit detached. Um, when uh, I make it uh, do like this, you see how there is like a snowflakes that appear the shadow that appears it makes it look like instead of uh, being part of the body like they are like um stuck on top but detach it to fix this i would have the snowflakes here on a different layer and have it on top so that here it's on top here nicely instead of being like that that it makes it look a little bit fake and detach it from the body as well as bringing these uh, shadows more down so that even if we make her bounce we don't have this shadow appearing here it's all the same color right booba and chest i will do it like that to make them look more attached to the body also when i do this this shadow on the torso looks a little bit um, detached. Now, I think we have a lot of toggles. My so being oh my god what I have never seen something like this 100% points for the for the creativity only you can turn into a brother I really like this and I like that you did also the backup part for a 3d effect that is for Halloween okay I was, that's not what I was expecting but wow 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 the only one thing that I could um, comment for this one might be that you might want to move the arms a little bit as well. Look how much the body moves and the arms look like they are always in the same place. It was a uni assignment and now it will be my Halloween, our Halloween costume. This was a uni... what, what university do you go to? Clips, gaming headset. Uh, headsets are hard to make. Cover up. Toast. I am just checking all of the all of the tacos that you got simply because I'm curious. <laughs> Cherry blossom. Cat. All right, so. But like you had an assignment instead of life tree, you started life tree at school? I noticed that the back of the head looks a little bit off. And I think it's this part, this element. Maybe you wanted to be more up when it goes down like that so it also moves with it i 
Don't worry, don't worry, I'm just checking it all. I will say to you the same thing that I said to everyone on the angles. Trying to keep the diagonal, all of the objects in the same diagonal. You will want to st stay here and spend some time doing this and noticing what looks like it moves off. Like in this case, the glasses, they look like they go up and down, right? Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So you could work them to move a little bit better together with the eyes. I study art and my professor let me do whatever. Oh, that's so nice. Bro, I wish I had professors like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you followed the stream till now, but um, to me, add angles are like a bajillion times easier if I do them with them. Um, it would be a little bit hard to select all of this stuff, but like. Browse glasses. Yeah, like doing like this perspective, like this. It's way easier for me. I would advise you do it like that. So it creates a nicer effect more easily. Um, mm, angle X, okay. You may want to turn extended interpolation on for this. For the backer, you see how the backer goes like bouncing? It doesn't look like it's flowing down with the head. Maybe a little bit more down. Mm -hmm. Extended interpolation might help here. To make it flow a little bit better. tutorials are amazing and they really helped me make my model i just wanted to say thank you so much ah thanks to you for watching my videos i really appreciate it let me see how do the back of hair physics look like Okay, you have them all on the separate uh, layers, okay. I wanna see also the body movements. Now this one you did really good. I really like how I did body. Yeah, I get a feel like the arms are a little bit too still. And then of course matching the hips because like the whole body goes up and down but the arms look like they don't move at all.
Okay, so maybe doing that a little bit. Yeah, I'm using an iPhone 11. Oh, wow, okay, the hips, I do it differently. Like for the hips, I usually have like the whole thing more to the side like this. And then I attach the legs so that there's more movement. But I guess this can be your personal preference. Ah, you don't have the top uh, arm swinging? Okay. I wanted to do the arms entirely. Since the mesh I made in this is hard to trigger, I want a separate arms and shoulder. Would you recommend that? Oh, yes! Uh, wait, you have only two in one layer? Uh, you would have to, to glue it. Uh, where is the top arm? This is not the top arm that I see. Huh, <laughs> where is the top arm? I don't find it. Wait, oh, here it is, okay. This and this, you will have to glue them like this. glue them like this in my hips tutorial I show better how to do glue now I'm doing it faster just to show you how different it would look then glue them here then this one And also have uh, shoulder movement. You will use the rotation deformer, but because you use it that in the body X Y, I'm not using that. But normally I will do the opposite. So the warp deformer for body XY and the rotation deformer for the arms. I don't know what that is. Ah, this is in the texture. You have some uh, texture overlapping? Yes, because I increased the size of the lower arm. So if you glue, be careful about the, um, the textures overlapping because I increased this. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And then because of the glue, you can actually not use this at all, but use a rotation deformer like this. Which one is this? Okay. The hand needs to be in it. Yeah, the thing is that you have a lot of stuff. Okay, it should be in here. So now I might be doing one thing for one arm, but like for all the toggles that you have, you would have to fix it for all of them. So I would advise that you do this from the start. And then we simply make the glue much better. So she doesn't have a broken arm. Okay, now in the physics, I can go to your arm physic page. Mm. 
hair, hair, hair. Boing boing, arms. Oh, you have all of it in one? I will make two different ones. For left and right, so they look better. I should have called this. Um... Okay, so you should have one, two, three. And work on this a little bit to make it look nice. Okay, I could definitely work more on this, but look how much more it moves compared to this side. And you can also already have the body wipe. Okay, perfect. Okay, so moving the, um, the top of the arm really helps. And the gluing uh, makes things way easier to move around without thinking about, oh, my top arm is detaching from the bottom arm. Uh, you just glue it and it just uh, goes like that. Easy peasy. It keeps on uh, being attached regardless of how you move it. Mm -mm. Honestly, Ash, I love all the care you show. <laughs> uh, thank you. Mm. I try my best, you know what? Mm. I think that for today I'm done with doing reviews because my brain is about to explode. <laughs> A lot of thinking. But I, ha I had fun. I had fun. We reviewed 10 models in total. Um, you have a lot of stuff going on in here. I honestly really like how many toggles you have. Yeah, we'll do these little uh, changes to make things work a little bit more smoothly. And in general, many um, tips that I gave for other for other models are also valid for everyone's models, basically, since often, uh, uh, like for the head angle thing, uh, almost everyone, I said the same thing, so... Mm -mm -mm. Hello, friendly potato, how are you? Alright, who? My brain, my brain. <laughs> We reviewed, oh my god, we reviewed 10 models in total, thank you so much for sending me, it was uh, fun. Let me see, I still have the models from... I still have the models from... From Fox, Merlin, Miami Atsumi, Pocky, Fifi, BLT, Bitsy Tandem, Lava Boy, Luna, Mono Asure Chi, Hades, 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 Arisu. Umine and Ichi Kahiroe. <clears throat> if your name was in one of these names that I said, you will be reviewed next week. So I will have a next Thursday uh, appointment with you, okay? Next Thursday we are doing again this type of um, reviewing stream, okay? Although I might edit this stream and post it as a YouTube video, so edit it uh, to look more interesting and um, general like fun. Um, and also, I will keep on streaming on my Twitch channel uh, for now at least. Um, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, on Twitch, so if you want to uh, follow me over there, I'll be working on commissions. 
while you wait for Thursday to come, okay? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on Twitch and Thursday on YouTube. Remember that if you don't want to miss my streams, you can follow, subscribe to this channel and um, click on the little bell to turn on notifications for next week. Uh, if you want to, you can join my Discord server, it's my little community. Uh, we do uh, watch animes on Sunday. Next one is Horimiya. We're gonna watch the first season, I think. Mm -mm. And you can also follow me on my social medias, uh, so you can see all of the new art that I post, commission updates, little silly TikToks, any news in general, and if you want to just to support me, okay? I really appreciate all of you that were uh, here in chat talking with me and sent me your model for the super chat and... What can I say? I can uh, raid someone. Let me see. Let's see someone that is streaming on YouTube. Some VTuber that is streaming and we can raid them. Oh my god, it's all Japanese people. Oh, Spika is streaming and singing. <laughs> Spika, we can read her. She's super cute. She sings amazingly. Alright. Uh, I will read it now, Spika. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Please be patient. It's a, it takes a little bit. They should make the um, they should make the rig the uh, um, the reading process easier. <laughs> you can read on YouTube. Yeah, you can, but it's hard. <laughs> you need to do all of that thing. Uh, I don't remember how to raid the YouTube Lamau. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, settings, community, redirect. No, I want to do redirect. I don't want to get redirected. Live control room. Okay, okay, I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. Live. I got it. Okay. I did it last time and now I can seem to do... Ah, here we are. Okay. Ah, I can edit at the start, but I'm gonna know who's gonna stream after that. I can also redirect you to one of my other videos. <laughs> okay. I cannot read her. She she put that I cannot read her. I need to choose someone else. Uh, mm, 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 mm. 
It's all Japanese streamers. I honestly have no idea who to... Shin. I found an English VTuber. Okay, we're gonna read this one. Hopefully they updated their raid so I can read him. They didn't. Uh... Okay, I will raid Radiance again that we read the last time because she's the only one that I can raid. You can raid two videos, recrawl. I will never do that. Wait, let me try to do that. <laughs> let me try. If you can recrawl, let me know. Let me know. <laughs> if you if you can recrawl, uh, let me know. Ah, shit. No, I cannot do that. Because to get raided, the person that gets the raid needs to be... Needs to be... To turn it on. To turn raids on. Alright. We're gonna uh, raid uh, Radiance that is currently just uh, playing some video games, okay? I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Take care. Or also in my Discord if you want, okay? Bye-bye.